What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is GLG The Return, and it is the second episode of our new team, Four Eyes, the All Choice Specs team. If you're interested about the Pokemon that I brought in that, uh, what the sets I'm kind of using, you can either just keep watching this video, I'm sure I'll talk about them at least a little bit during the battles, or you can go see the previous video, and I kind of did a rundown of the team there. But um, we're looking at <laughs> a nice, it's a fun team, I'll tell you guys that much. Um, I haven't had a battle with it since the last video, so we are going to look for a battle right here. It is very hot here in California right now, very hot, and my room in particular does not have air conditioning, and after the last video I realized I had to close the windows because it gets really loud on the- whatever, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, this window right is like right here, and the like wind blows right through to my, my mic, which is right there. Um, so, we're kind of getting a little bit of loading lag here, it looks like, but this guy's got a Slowbro, a Pillow Swine, a Nitto Queen, and what I can only imagine is going to be a choice in some regard, Heracross, Arcanine, and a Gengar. So, um, interesting. So, this is probably Eviolite, I'm assuming. I mean, why would you run a Pillow Swine over... A mammoth swine, other than for that reason. So, big things to note. Potential rock setter here and here. If this is a rock setter, then uh, I'm gonna wanna really, really hit him hard. And one way I can go about doing that is with Fighting Stab. And Sweetie Bell can uh, also hit super hard on this little, both of these guys actually. So Sweetie Bell is a good lead for the potential rock setters. Sweetie Bell does a number on this team in general to be honest. So let's start with uh, let's start with Sweetie Bell on the Heracross lead. I was not anticipating the Heracross lead. Truth be told, that was not what I was anticipating. The sounds are a little off here. Maybe I should just turn off the sounds. Let's do that. We're going to mute the sounds. We're going to mute the sounds. Um. could be Scarfed. The way he led with it, it could be Scarfed. Um, I don't know that I'm really worried that he's going to kill me. Uh, he could switch in Slowbro. Slowbro is a relatively good check here. But let's just go for the... Oof. Let's go for the Scald anyway. I think he's going to switch. Now he stays in. That does a hefty amount. He goes for the Rock Tomb. Gets a crit and uh, a speed drop. Now he'll probably outspeed me following that. Um, my speed is 330, but that really just did not do a lot of damage. Uh, he could go now, I mean, he could probably do enough to really hurt me here. He could go for a bug stab, uh, he could go for a fighting stab. I don't see him packing any sort of coverage, but he could potentially... No, because he's not hes not Mega, so why would he... Uh, Swarm is activated, so Bug is the more likely move of choice. So I could switch into Heatran to do something about that. But um, I think I would rather switch into Gengar for the potential to just have his uh, Fighting Stab not affect me. There's the close combat, and it does nothing. And now I'm going to outspeed him, and I can kill him with something. Does anyone here want to take a Shadow Ball? I don't think his team will appreciate it much. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. He doesn't have a normal type, does he? No. No normal types. So it should, it should take out the Heracross. Specially defensive walls. He doesn't really have a wall, but uh, Pillow Swine, I guess, is his specially defensive Pokemon. That does a good amount to him. Uh, earthquake won't kill me because it can't affect me. Let's just finish him off with shadow. Let's pump out a couple more shadow balls. That uh, he's gonna get his stealth rocks up, and now his pillow swine's either gonna go down or he's gonna switch it out. He could go for an ice shard to get some chip damage on me. It'll be a relatively low amount. He's gonna switch out to preserve it, and the Gengar is gonna get hit by the sash. <laughs> My word. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. Well, we know... 
We could trouble the speed tie here. Here's the problem. Um, Gengar, I think, is my fastest Mon here. 350, yeah. 350, my fastest Mon here. Um, we know he's sashed, so he's obviously not choice scarfed. So it's gonna be a speed tie, unless he's not timid. Am I timid? I'm pretty sure I'm timid. I think I'm timid. I'm pretty sure. What, what's my speed? 350. I'm timid. So, whatever. Click it. I do have speed and I take out the Gengar. Okay. Okay, good. What is- I don't know why he ch opted to sacrifice the Gengar there. And actually, just in general, why he even switched out his Pillow Swine. Like, what's his Pillow Swine gonna do with 9% life left? Slowbro's gonna come in, and he's also gonna get hit super effective by this. And that's gonna take him out. He has nothing to stop the hype machine! Guys, <laughs> he's got nothing. He's got nothing. Um... Okay, so that is water that was in the freezer, because that is the only place in this ungodly vicinity that is even remotely close to being not sweltering. Sweltering is a good word. Well done, me. Um, Shadow Ball for days. I'm not going to stop. Flare Blitz! Oh, the power! Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. The first Pokemon that goes down on four eyes, guys. First Pokemon to go down, hype, but he took out three Pokemon with him. Basically four, because Pillowswine's almost dead. Let's see, Heracross gets outsped by everything, we know that, and Water is super effective with everything else, so uh, let's just go into Sweetie Belle and finish this match off, shall we? There's the Nidoqueen. Queen. Uh, Scald. Choice spec Scald on this Nidoqueen. Queen. You can never tell with Nido, with the Nidos whether they're physical or not for <laughs> get a crit. God damn. <laughs> I, oh. I can't, not even mad. Can't even be mad just watching. There's the Ice Shard for 10%. Pill Swine goes down. And uh, it only took two Pokemon, guys. It only took two to destroy this guy's entire team. <laughs> oh my god. The power, though. The power. The power. Let's, uh... <laughs> oh, let's look for another match. I'm still very low on the ladder, guys, but you know what? It's a weird team. Stuff happens. You fight other interesting people with interesting teams in the lower ladder. If I go to the higher ladder, it's just gonna be me trying really hard and losing a lot. Because there's limitations for a team like this. But... That's not why you guys are here. You're not here to watch super competitive Pokemon. It's a gym leader video. I'm, I'm bringing mono specs for for criminy's sake. Oh, uh, go Niners. Don't unsubscribe if you're not a Niners fan. They're gonna suck this season anyway. Someone, someone posted a really funny link on my uh, on my Facebook a couple of days ago that showed the roster that made it to uh, the Super Bowl a couple years ago compared to the roster now with the players that we know have left and it's almost almost undiscernibly different okay so this guy so okay potential lead potential lead and we're back, guys. So, um, <laughs> we had two disconnects, and, uh, you know, I didn't really anticipate it, and it was only after the second one that I was like, I'm gonna just cut everything that was there. After the first one, I was like, uh, it's just a disconnect, we'll have a second battle. Uh, not me, the disconnected guys, it's not the GBA. I I'm not disconnecting anymore <laughs> since I'm on showdown. Uh, we're gonna look for another battle. This is gonna be the second battle that you guys see. Um, two of my opponents forfeited on me. Uh, we're looking for... A win here. We've got, oh boy, oh man, oh man, a Shevitz. We've got a speed boost passing Scalopede, and we've got a Superior here who's just gonna love to shoot off uh, at plus speed some of those grass type moves. So Heatran needs to stay around. Finnegan can also eat those up. Uh, if need be, we can have them resisted by Gengar and Latios, but those are lesser options. Gengar wouldn't mind a pass. Actually, most of these guys would not mind that speed pass at all. That's the obvious lead. Um, the best way to handle that. 
super effective hits uh, of note, rock type, fire type, both of which held by Heatran DMC. Uh, it's possible he packs an earthquake for me. What else can I do to hit this guy? Super effective. Um, Viewed could do it. Viewed uh, might also outspeed. Let's go with, yeah, let's lead with Viewed here. Let's lead with Viewed. Uh, he actually is going to lead with the Hippowdon. Who I could uh, Ice Beam for super effective damage. Or Dragon Pulse for the stab if I'm predicting a switch. At best, he's got Ice Fang or Crunch for me. Realistically, I predict he has neither, and he's just going to want to get his rocks up. So let's just go for the Ice Beam here. He could very easily switch into the Slow Bro to take it. No, he's going to stay in, and that's going to hit him really hard as he goes for the Yawn. Now, I could switch here, or I could just kill the Hippowdon, but I think he's going to... I think he'll switch. Or go for rocks, just to sack rock. Um, if he were to switch to someone to take that frost attack, it would be Slowbro. And a Pokemon that will take out Slowbro very effectively is Finnegan with Seed Flare. We can make some moves after that. Another Pokemon would be Rotom Wash with the um, Volt Switch. The Powdon, of course, could take that bolt switch also. So I could just go for the trick. Get rid of the specs. That's almost cheating because I'm a choice specs team, but it's okay. Uh, I don't really want you to fall asleep. Who else can take out the slow bro? Nope. Mm. Hype. Shadow Ball from the hype. Could do it. Let's go hype. Uh, he is going to go for the Stealth Rocks. And uh, in the process, let's see, who wants to take a Shadow Ball? Anyone on his team at all? Nope. Let's click it, baby. <laughs> let's click it. Let's just start uh, watching him sack off Pokemon to the absolute power of a Choice Specs Shadow Ball. Uh, I really don't see... The only Pokemon on his team that I could see that it could uh, possibly outspeed me would be his Scalpede, and I don't see him... Yeah, he's just going to sack the Hippowdon. Uh, he's going to come in with the Scalpede. Yeah, he can outspeed me if he's max speed and uh, positive nature, but more likely than that, he's... He's just going to start trying to get a speed boost passed off. This is my fastest Mon, unfortunately. But, you know, I have to stay in here. He's going to go for Iron Defense. That is a massive waste of time. Why would he do that? Every Pokemon on my team is... Lower ladder, guys. Lower ladder. Uh, he's going to go for Protect. to try and uh, whittle a little bit. Uh, get a little more speed. Um, he could go for the Pass here. But, again, no one wants to take this. So, good. Good for him. He got a plus two defense baton pass off to what I can only assume is going to be. If he's going for like a defensive setup, maybe the Latias. Uh, he could do it to the Gyara. Gyara could probably... No, Gyara can't take two Shadow Balls. Although, he could take one. And uh, at plus two speed, he's going to be devastating. So he does have a... He does have a speed pass here. And everyone is going to uh, appreciate it the plus the speed. Superior is one that certainly comes to mind. Uh, Latias, who is going to... <laughs> is going to die in one hit to the Shadow Ball, and he, he left. He quit. <laughs> because he can't stand the hype train guys you can't stand the hype train i'm not actually gonna cut that one out because i thought that was really funny i thought that was really funny we're gonna get one more match in you guys deserve one more match i'm gonna look for a battle this is more like it ash gen one none of these well okay, several of them are gen one but not all of them so 
a Charizard, non-mega, a Sceptile, non-mega, a Lapras, Salamence, this guy could potentially be a problem, uh, so I gotta, when he's on the field, it depends whether he's defensive or not, and he's got the uh, Magic Bouncer here. Since I'm not really looking to set up hazards on this team, it's work hard, play hard the whole time. Let's get some notes here. Sceptile as a potential lead if he predicts the Rotom lead. But other than that, Rotom can uh, Volt Switch with Impunity. We have got two flying types here, so ground can be resisted, but most people here don't even really care about the ground stab. Um, it's relatively well balanced, actually. A good amount of defensive typing as well as offensive typing. Uh, if I'm looking at potential Scarfers, here they are. I guess Charizard, but he kind of needs something extra to get some power. He could also be Scarf potentially, but uh, I'm not really sure that he will be. Given what I'm seeing in front of me, let's... Heatran is going to be useful for me this match. I need to get rid of this Cloyster. Let's lead with, um... Let's lead with Rotom, because I really don't think he's going to predict me to predict that he would not lead with that. That's just not a good lead for him. Um, these, I think, are more likely of the two leads. So let's lead with Rotom here. He's going to lead with Cloyster, so I was right on that. Uh, I'm predicting a defensive set here. But I'm going to go for a Volt Switch uh, regardless. Is he going to Shell Smash first? Is he White Herb? Because if not, if he's not White Herb... No, he's not, so that, yeah, is going to bring him down to his sash for sure. Now, he's got a massive speed boost there. Um, massive speed and uh, offensive boost. Given that his max speed could be 262, no, there's no, if he's speed invested, I'm not at speeding. Heatran can resist both of his uh, skill linked moves. He could pack the Razor Shell, but that's un that's not common. Usually, the most common Cloisters I see are Shell Smash with Rock Blast, uh, Icicle, no, Icicle Spear, and um, Ice Shard. So, hopefully he doesn't pack the, uh, the Razor Shell. That would be unfortunate for me if he did. Let's go in here and let's predict. Let's see. Let's have a look. Any one of my attacks will kill him. Not all of them are 100% accuracy, a la Fire Blast. Uh, Flash Cannon will hit super effective on him. It's not resisted by Salamence. It is resisted by Lothris. Not resisted by Sceptile. I think Ancient Power is probably my best neutral coverage here. Let's hope he doesn't have the Razor Shell. What's he got? He's got the Surf, which doesn't take me out, luckily. That was really lucky. Uh, so I guess he was a special set. I haven't actually seen that in a while. Salamence is going to outspeed. Uh, he could go for the Dragon Stab here. I might just have to sack Heatran, actually. Um, just because I don't... I don't know anyone who could take two hits. There's no reason for him to go for... Um, like, Earthquake or anything here. He's Moxie, which is worth noting. Max speed 328, so um, hype will outspeed him. Actually, is a problem. It's actually, a little bit of a problem. Um, Sweetie Bell will also outspeed, and I could go for Icy Wind, and I think it should kill. I'm not. There's not really much I can do here, uh, just to prevent. Yeah, he did go for the earthquake, so I could have switched out there, but it was too risky for me to do that. Let's go into Sweet Bell, who will definitely outspeed, and go for the icy wind to drop this guy's uh, speed down a little bit. If he's scarfed and does that speed, no, he's not scarfed. He is sashed, so that's two sashes. His speed is dropped. He goes for the Dragon Claw, gets a crit, and takes out Sweetie Bell. Problem attic. Problem attic. But his speed is dropped. So assuming he's 328 max, uh, let's uh, 
Oh no, 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 that's not what I'm doing. 328 times 0.67. 219 rounds down, so he's 219 speed. <laughs> Damn it, still on speed, Sudzy, unfortunately. Um, so... Let's see. Man, you know what? I should've kept Heatran around. I should've predicted the Earthquake, gone into Finnegan, I could've healing with him up. I forgot about that. That was, uh, that was definitely my B. Um, Bude can come in. Might have been the better shot, actually. No. No, this is better. Dragon Claw would have taken me out, too. Let's go... Let's keep the hype train rolling. Hype has been cleaning up today. Let's go for the Shadow Ball here. Yeah, he's just gonna sack the Salamence. Salamence did a 2 for 1. Uh, and now it's a 4v4. He's gonna go into the Espeon. Espeon with the potential to speed tiny at best could be another sashed Pokemon. Uh, things it could do to hit me super effective. Or maybe not even super effective. Its best option here is almost certainly to go for the Psy Shock, which would be resisted by Bude, who might have to suffer two attacks though in order to get off nothing that is stabbed against this guy, or nothing that is uh, super effective coverage. I do have the Dragon Pulse stab, but no stab super effective coverage quite like Shadow Ball. Let's go for the speed tie here. Uh, he's going to go for the Psychic. Shoot, he, he outsped me. So now we, now I think the best move is to go into Bude here. And, um... Dragon Pulse unresisted by anything on the field. He's going to switch to Shadow Ball, and he's going to take a critical hit <laughs> God damn. God damn this man. Um, going for another Shadow Ball. Then again, actually has less special defense, but it's not super effective hit against me. But Psychic would hit even harder. 250 special defense. Actually, yeah. Shoot, this, uh, this Espeon is a problem. Who's most important? Lapras, I can take out with, uh, with Finnegan, probably. Or Sudzy. Sudzy is good against everyone except Sceptile, who Bude and Finnegan are both relatively good against. He will outspeed me, he will kill with Shadow Ball. That's what we know. And, um... We know that Finnegan is faster than you, not that he's faster than Espeon. We actually know actually that he's 350 because he had to speed tied and kill Gengar with that. That was very unfortunate loss of the speed tie. I'll outspeed everyone else here, but I won't necessarily kill with Dragon Pulse, so I'm more okay with losing uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon here. And now... The least damage he can do. I could go into Sudzy and go for the Volt Switch, predicting that he might want to save the Espeon. And knowing that he doesn't have any resistances to that. And knowing that whoever comes in next... No, because Finnegan, if Finnegan comes in, Charizard comes in. But I still think... I still think it's the right move. Let's go for the Volt Switch here. He goes for a Psychic, doesn't quite do half. Volt Switch on the Espeon. Now he's going to come in with the Charizard. And Finnegan will have to switch out. He's actually gonna come in with the Lapras. Pop off a Seed Flare, huh? Critical hit, super effective stuff. So this is an all Sash team. He's going for the Dragon Dance here. Uh, I'm gonna switch into Sudzy to take that. Problem is the Charizard, once again, the Charizard that resists everything here. I can't lose Sudzy, actually. Charizard, uh... 240. It's possible if he's not fully speed invested, even with the Dragon Dance, he won't outspeed me. It's also possible he won't kill me right now. Um... 
I'm in a weird situation, so let's think. Let's think this through. If he outspeeds me and hits me too hard, I can't take anything from this Sceptile. Sceptile will likely outspeed Sudzy. Sudzy is needed for Charizard because straight up Finnegan cannot take on Charizard. Sudzy could potentially... No, he can't take on Sceptile. I need both these guys. I need to outspeed here. I'm switching to Sudzy, kill Lawford. No, I take two attacks that way. I, ah, shoot, he goes for the Ice Shard. Mm. I do get the kill on Lawford. Charizard's gonna come in now. The All Sash team. All Sash team. Sceptile actually comes in. I could. Now, what I could do is just go for the Sash break here. Let's just hit him with the Seed Flare. He's gonna go for the Swords Dance. Seed Flare is gonna be resisted, and I get the Special Attack and Defense Drop. That's good, but at this point, I think he'll be able to kill me anyway. He's gonna go for the Earthquake. Why did he go for Earthquake? Wow, he just lost. He might have just lost himself the match here. Charizard's gonna come in. If I outspeed, and I think I do, then I've broken his Sash and get the Special Defense Drop. He goes for the Flamethrower to take me out, and now I can come in with Sudzy. And, uh, I don't want to risk the Hydro Pump miss. So, uh, I'm going to go for the Volt Switch at minus two. This should almost certainly kill. He's going to Flare Blitz. I resist it. He takes some damage. Volt Switch, and I pull out the win. Yes! <laughs> this is really weird because it's all it pretty much just revenge kill, revenge kill match. Because it's dangerous for me to switch knowing that that now gives his Pokemon three turns of life. As opposed to my... <laughs> All focus sash versus all choice specs. GG, well played. Uh, that was really fun, actually. So, uh, and that's a good place for me to end this episode, I think. What do you guys think of the all choice specs? I know we're lower ladder, but we're still getting some really fun matches here. I like the other the interesting teams I go up against. Uh, I think it's really fun. Uh, if you, if there's any other monotype things you guys want to see, uh, definitely leave me a comment in the comment section down below. As always, my name is Jim Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.